Hello folks, my name is David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand, the Rangers podcast and I'm joining you today from Dingwall after Rangers threw away two points again, a 3-3 draw here with Ross County and Rangers conceding in the 97th minute to to cut our, our lead at the top of the table from uh, four points to two points lightly. In fact, it's been cut from six to two inside three games and that's unacceptable. What was completely unacceptable was Rangers' defensive performance today. It was an absolute shambles. Alan McGregor is at a horror show, at fault for two goals and could have been doing better at the second, but the, the whole team collectively has to take the responsibility for that performance today. Rangers got off to a dream start with youngster uh, Ahmad Diallo getting his annoyed and he looked excellent today. Um, looks a real talent but again Rangers get a goal early on the mood's great everyone's happy and they sit back and two disastrous mistakes first McGregor drops a ball straight to the feet of the Ross County player for the equaliser that's uh, followed up a few minutes later by pretty much the whole defence inexcusably failing to deal with a simple ball Calvin Bassey shot with a header back and it's 2-1 um, and these are just basic errors but Rangers had let Ross County back into the game. Rangers had, had started well, brightly, full of joy, full of attack, Diallo doing well, and then just sit back and, and stop playing and sleepwalk their way through the half. Into the second half, Rangers pushed James Tavernier up and were rewarded with a goal from him immediately after Diallo had a shot saved. And Rangers were pushing, trying to get the winner, and it looked as though it had come when, after a scramble, Connor Goldson headed home after Scott Arfield had brought a save to the keeper. Kamara's hit the post, um, at, at 3-2 but again mistakes Kamara gives the ball away in the last seconds that leads to a corner and then I've no idea what McGregor's doing at the corner um, there's a few of those players that are sleepwalking we're not getting enough from Kamara Ken again is just not doing much for us there are too many in this team that seem to settle for a goal lead and I don't know whether that comes from the manager or not but the fact of the matter is, is that Rangers need to go and win games. Today that game was there to be won and Rangers simply didn't do it. We now go to Parkhead on, on Wednesday. It's going to be a very tough match. This Rangers team has got to play for 90 minutes. They can't decide to pick and choose the 10 minutes that they're going to play. They're not good enough to sit out and see how it leads. They've proved that. They've proved that repeatedly this season. I mean, how many times have we conceded a late equaliser? Uh, and you can't just keep spilling these points. That should have been three points and down the road today, and it wasn't. And to be honest, unless that some of the players can get back the intensity and the, the snap and the spark that they've shown for 90 minutes of games, then that's it. Go and get the game won, and then you can see it out. But Rangers can... T- you know, someone next to me joked we'll probably try and see this out after four minutes today, and it looked as though that was what we were attempting. When they put their mind to it and they got back into the league, they showed it, but the game management at the end was absolutely pathetic. There are a few players on the side, big name players, who are not delivering, and we need better from them. Thanks for listening to me, folks. Take care. Bye bye.